If you grant her succession, we are rewarding her disobedience. What disobedience? She is not our subject. And yet you would make us hers. What have you produced in all your travels between our kingdoms? Discord? War? Death? And now you have the boldness to doubt my judgment. You had better question yours. I regret that you perceive me as a failure. We serve you fully, with all our hearts. Any one of us would gladly die for you, but Mary is our foe and a Catholic. She is only your queen if I should not produce an heir. And will you, madam? For you have given us little hope so far. There's only one queen in the title, but the reality is that Mary, Queen of Scots, is a royal's twofer. The story follows two queens in the 16th century. Mary, Queen of Scotland for a brief period of time, and Elizabeth, Queen of England for quite a long period of time. They were cousins, they were rivals. They've also been in films before because such a rivalry is unnatural for the movies. The best thing about the new film is that the two actresses who are chosen to play the two queens are really excellent. Saoirse Ronan, three times Oscar nominated even though she's only 24, plays Mary Queen of Scots, a regal personage if ever there was one, and Margot Robbie plays Queen Elizabeth. A lot of this film is taken up with the court machinations of these two queens. They both had a lot of internal politics to deal with. They both suffered from the fact that being a woman and a queen was very difficult in the 16th century. Those parts of the film don't always come to life. The two queens never met in reality, but this film contrives to have them get together, and that meeting is the best thing in the film. They go toe-to-toe -to -toe the very conclusion of the film, and seeing them do that is really a pleasure. For the Los Angeles Times, this is Kenneth Turan.